All right, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Shalom elect. This is Dr. Yehoshua Ben Ephraim. Today's date is uh, May 12th, 2021. Um, now, <clears throat> there's quite a few things I need to unpack um, for this lesson and presentation right here. Um, first, there's a couple of things I need to put out. Um, starting uh, this Shabbat coming up, you know, God willing, I'm going to. Um, set off the uh, the kind of ministry portion uh, of my online institute and what I mean by that is that basically I'm going to be going over um, uh, Torah you know having you know pretty much having service uh, on Shabbat um, you know I know I give a lot of lessons I've, I've got a lot of videos well over 50 um, over the years you know kind of getting back into the swing of things as far as that but um, I think we need the word the word of God at the end of the day as children of the Most High, um, we need to be able to um, to edify each other with the Word. You know, all the, the the DNA stuff and the you know E1 and B1 and all that. All that's great, but um, I think yeah, we definitely need to kind of turn the page. So I'm going to do that this Shabbat, um, God willing. All right, so um, you know th that's that. Um, and also, uh, what I'm going to do is um because I've, I've seen i've been seeing some things man i you know it's been six years since this whole you know uh e1 b1a thing started and um i'm going to go over my uh my data before the format was changed um there's a i mean wow I, and, and i knew i saw this coming i really did um by god's grace and mercy you know uh, january 3rd 2015 when i released that video when it blew up like it did, I, I knew it was coming. I knew that um, that this information was going to start. You know, I knew that the the, the 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 trickery, if you will, was going to start, and it didn't take long before it started. I mean, they they changed the format to where, you know, um, and I went through uh, 23andMe, and uh, it's it's totally different now. I mean, I, like they really really trying to um, the disinformation. You know, and when I break down my my data of what it was when I went through it, you guys will see. You know, and I told I told everyone back then. I know it was new, and 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 uh, but you know, I, I thank the Most High for the gift of a foresight because I saw it coming. I said they're not going to just you know let that go like that. There was no reason for them to change the format, and 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 f for those out there who may be you know. Uh, confuse changing the format doesn't mean changing your your DNA. Okay, it's just it's just when I when when I say change the format, meaning that when you look at it visually, it's not readily E one B one A. Um, and we're going to get into that. I'm going to get into that. Uh, for example, I'm E one B one A seven A. Right. When I took my test, it said that. Now. E one B one A seven A. Now it says uh, E P two five two. I believe there was no reason to change that. Absolutely not, other than the fact, other than to confuse or dissuade people from, you know, with the whole E one B one A movement. If 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 E one B one A wasn't true or that big of a deal, why would they go through those lengths to to change the formats and 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 and, and take out? the uh, global populations you know clearly you know saying that you know the populations that was compared to my DNA was in the Middle East quote unquote in Palestine we, I'm gonna get into all of that um, things are so different but I, t I told everyone this now, I have a video I did about five years ago it's called Bantus or Negroes and if uh, Ramses was E1B1A Ramses III was E1B1A he was a Hebrew Israelite um, that video is, is pretty pretty um, comprehensive and I definitely recommend you guys going to that after you um, listen to this one when I go over my personal uh, DNA data. Definitely go and, um, and check that video out. Because um, I saw it then five years ago, right? And so, yeah, a um, lot to unpack, uh, but let's get it. Starting off with um, uh, my DNA data. All right. As you all can see, you know, six years ago, back when I uh, first took my DNA test, remember, I took a couple of them for continuity's sake, right? I, I did one with, uh, uh, I believe it was uh, 
uh, Family Tree or Ancestry.com. And then I did one with um, DNA Tribes was really good. Um, then I did one with 23andMe. Okay. And what you're looking at, this is my, this is a screenshot of what my paternal line looked like six years ago with 23andMe. And it clearly says um, E1B1A. 7a okay is a subgroup of e1b1a now remember uh i was at a at an advantage because i guess you know when they was putting this information out they did, they had no idea that, that that someone would connect the dots and connect e1b1a to the lost children of israel right so i was at an advantage i had a huge advantage so man, we're going to go over every single thing that i had because i took screenshots of everything so I have my proof. And uh, the key, one of the things to, 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 to keep in mind is that when they, when they say that uh, E1B1A is common among uh, Bantu speakers and African Americans um, or Negroes, okay, remember? Bantus are the Negroes that the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary was talking about when it said ham, uh, was the progenitor of the dark races, the Egyptians, the Ethiopians, Africans, and Canaanites, but not the Negroes. And I discovered and uncovered that the Negroes were the Bantus. Did a video on that, right? And I said in the last slide, you know, check definitely check that out. You know, once this is over, but I got I got to get into this because I mean, I was really when I logged in and saw what was what was going on now. I mean, it 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 semi angered me, but I mean, I kind of knew. They were going to do this, right? But that's okay because I have the proof. I have my screenshots of what it was before it was changed. So there, there you go. Okay. So it says E1B1A7A subgroup of E1B1A. All right. Uh, region Africa, obviously. And 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 remember and see that whole Bantu expansion. For those who aren't familiar with it, that whole Bantu expansion they, they, they continuously talk about that happened about 4,000 years ago, it was basically a Hebrew expansion. That's what it was. Okay? Because remember, whatever uh, African nation they attribute your DNA to, whether it's, uh, you know, Yoruba or um, Ghana or Cameroon, wherever, remember, as a Bantu, that's, a, that's secondary to you as a Hebrew Israelite because our DNA is much older than those Hermetic races that we encountered once we got to these nations of Hermetic Africans okay our our DNA is a lot older than 4,000 years but see if you notice that's where they pick up the quote-unquote Bantu expansion from from about 4,000 years ago I don't know why they keep trying to make us feel and seem like like we don't have a, a, a very, very long and rich history well before uh, 400 years in this country and, and definitely before 4,000 years uh, when the Bantus and the, or slash Hebrews expanded all over the um, all over Africa, all over North, South America, you name it, you know, with the, with the transatlantic slave trade. So keep that in mind. OK, but here it is. This is what my paternal line looked like when I first took my test six years ago. And they said it, uh, the E1B1A branch of haplogroup E predominates in Africa, South, and the Sahara, where it spread about, see, 4,000 years ago in conjunction with the expansion of Bantu-speaking people out of Western Africa. And see that, and even then, that was disinformation because it was, we were not out of Western Africa. We migrated. The Bantus migrated to Western Africa. That's not where we came from. All right? But moving right along okay um, this global similarity map uh, was included when I took my DNA tests um, with them six years ago okay and why this is important and significant is because it tells you what population my DNA was connected to and clearly it says reference population for me was quote-unquote middle Eastern. Now, not to get in, go into a tangent on that, but we know that Middle East is a European construct. Okay, I dealt with that as well in one of my videos. Trust if you if you're not really familiar with a lot of my teaching videos, I, I highly recommend you guys kind of double back and go back to 
to some of the videos I've and presentations I've done on this stuff because it it'll, it'll make even more sense. Um, so let's just kind of in the spirit of saving time. Um, and this is what they said. Second paragraph. I don't know if you guys can read it, but I'll read it for you. It says we consider the Near East to be uh, bordered by the Mediterranean and Black Seas to the west, the Caucasus Mountains to the northeast, the Arabian Peninsula to the south, and the Zagros Mountains to the east. The 23andMe database includes Near Easterners from the Palestinian Druze Budenen populations living in Israel. One more time for the populations living in Israel, and that's where my DNA connected uh, the original most portion. Um, population where they lived were from but I don't if, if, if this is if this global similarity map is 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 still a part of uh, their deal please someone let me know and what it says especially for someone that has my DNA the E1B1A7A or now the EP252 let me know if this global similarity map they is, is still around because I don't think it is um, but it's, it's frustrating because, you know, they, they by listening to this, you know, it's like still they're trying to get to say, well, our, our history is more than 400 years started for more than 400 years ago. And it definitely started more than 4000 years ago. Yeah, we we migrated and was sold into slavery and all these different things. But where were we before that? See, that's what they're not dealing with. And that's the whole point and my whole problem with with this just disinformation and, and given some information, half information. Where were we? Where were the Bantus before this so-called Bantu expansion? See, they're not dealing with that. They don't want to answer that. That's why I've been answering it. And that whole Bantu expansion was a Hebrew expansion. We didn't originate in West Africa. We originated in Israel, Palestine. You know, that's where we came from, my people. That's where the Negroes are from. We are not Hermetic. We are a Shemitic people by way of Peleg, but they keep putting up this disinformation and keep trying to make it seem and sound like our history started 4,000 years ago with this Bantu expansion or even 400 years ago with slavery in America. Knock it off and cut it out. Like we, we are not that people. We are not those people. So, anyway, moving right along. And um, here's the, uh, the migration chart that was included with the um, the DNS, DNA test I took six years ago. I doubt very seriously that they, they include this uh, in the test taken today. Um, if all you brothers out there who's got the E1B1A7A or the EP252, listen closely because this is, applies to you, okay? Um, these are our people, man. Um, I don't want to kind of rehash everything but just kind of like a refresh um the migration of the e1b1a7a which came from the tribe of ephraim um they ended up in uh northern africa uh enslaved by uh, <clears throat> uh muslims arab muslims or whatever and um they uh, was trying to force them to convert to to islam and the e1b17a um declined and it ended up um shooting over to um, Yoruba where the Hamedic uh, Yorubans that were there already um, thought that they were a very strange people and they called them Imo Yokaim or strange people and they asked them who they were and they told them we are the sons of Ephraim or the children of Ephraim so that's our story in a nutshell that's that's you know I break that down in my personal uh, journey video um, you guys can go check that out as well um, I break that 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 story down. Um, so some someone said on the uh, uh, in the community or whatever that all of uh, Yoruba was E1B1A, and that's just that's just not true, um, not true at all. We're ad mixed in with um, with Hermetic Yorubans. There's some Hermetic Yorubans were there uh, when we got there. So <clears throat> anyway, this chart, this migration chart, as you can see. Um, you know from each position you know where we were and then where we started moving or migrating rather it was you know on, on our own or being sold or carried out whatever you see the the movement uh so and and, and the, the 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 crazy thing about this is that they're showing me all this stuff but yet 
looking at my ancestral breakdown, everything, everything they, they, they're still trying to keep everything sub-Saharan, Africa, Africa, Africa. Well, wait a minute. So, so where is this coming from? So where is this migration or chart coming from? If I'm so-called sub-Saharan and, and West Africa and Bantu and all this kind of stuff. So where's, where, where are you guys getting this from? Right. But at the time I wasn't, you know, I didn't really understand. You know, of course, you know, retrospect and hindsight being 2020, I totally get it now, you know, it's because they were trying to, they were hiding in plain sight, hiding, hiding our history or my history in plain sight. You know, clearly the original most part of my DNA started in Israel, period. But yet they're trying to keep me visually to, you know, sub-Saharan, Bantu, Bantu-speaking Africa, African-American. They're just trying to keep, keep me, keep me there and keep us there. But that's not the case. But um, if by chance this migration chart is still around, please, somebody let me know. Um, um, but I screenshotted mine. So, you know, I have my proof, man. Um, so on to the next slide. And uh, here's my uh, my maternal haplogroup for my mom, my mitochondrial. Uh, she's L3E2A1B. Um, uh, the interesting part about that is that L3E is the equivalent of E1B1A7A, but strangely, um, as you can see, here's the, the maternal haplogroup, the uh, migration for haplogroup L3E, which was my mom. This is origin haplogroup L3E originated about 45,000 years ago in central or northeastern Africa. And I'll frame that. Why that one line is so important is that for some reason they have no problem telling us that the female version of E1B1A started over 45,000 years ago in Northeast Africa, which for you who don't, many of you who don't know or are familiar, Northeast Israel is in Northeast Africa. And I did a video on that, okay? Because Israel sets on the tectonic plate. Don't believe the lies about no Asia and Eurasia. That's a bunch of madness. Israel is in Northeast Africa and this L3E migration that they're giving, they're literally giving us the female version of E1B1A that started in Israel. It originated, they even, they even went as far as uh, to say that um, it originated about 45,000 years ago. See, they didn't say that about the E1B1A. They kept the E1B1A limited to 4,000 years ago with the Bantu expansion. But with the female version of us, they're telling the truth. See, they didn't even tell us, they didn't even say that E1B1A started in Northeast Africa like they did the L3E. And guess what? The L3E is the female version of E1B1A, my people. See, but they didn't expect people, they didn't expect us to, to, to get all that, right? Because back then, six years ago, again, they were hiding in plain sight. So they're giving us this information. They didn't think we would know how to, what to do with it or, 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 or know the significance of it. But that, man, that, that's crazy. See, look, go down a little bit. It says example, populations, Bantu speakers, African-American. So that verifies what I just said. L3E, the mitochondrial, uh, is the mitochondrial version of E1, E1A. And I'm sorry, excuse me. But they didn't give us all that for, for the male, for the paternal uh, line. But they're telling the truth and shaming the devil here with the L3E. They're telling you L3E started 45,000 years ago in Northeast Africa or, or, or Israel, basically. And then, to, to drive it home, started to spread south with the migration of Bantu-speaking people over the past 4,000 years. Right. <laughs> this is a trip. So that's important. All right. Uh, in spirit of uh, in spirit of uh, saving time, I'm trying to just you know just kind of ref refresh some of these things I've already went over. But um, on to the next slide. Um, so fast forward six years, and now uh, my E1B1A7A is EP252. And again, my people, there was no reason for them to change the visual um, of my Y DNA haplotype. Absolutely none. Um, I believe this is just what they've done is 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 a direct um, response 
um, to the whole comprehensive E1B1A uh, video and movement. And now they're trying to say that uh, E1B1A uh, is, uh, is uh, what does that say? Uh, oh, that we share an ancient paternal lineage with Pharaoh Ramses III. <laughs> I mean, just this information, that's just not true. And when you guys uh, go check out that Bantu video I did, but I'll tell you basically what I said there. If Pharaoh Ramses III was actually he uh, E1B1A7A, either he was an actual Hebrew Israelite genetically and living as an Egyptian, or um, uh, either by blood or by, because remember, when Moses was found, he was living as an Egyptian, all right? But he was a Hebrew Israelite. But but I think they're doing that to kind of throw it off, okay? Because all those Egyptologists, they love that. Oh, yeah, you know, this shows, you know, E1, B1, A, yeah, we're Egyptian. No, we're not Egyptian. Genesis 10 and 6 tells us the sons of Ham, Cush, Mitzrayim, Put, and Canaan, okay? Ham, Hermetic. And their bloodline is E1B1B. And for those who don't know, the original Egyptians came up out of Mitzrayim. Okay? The original Egyptians are a black Hamitic people. Ham. The youngest son of Noah. Born about probably, probably about 96 years before the flood. Yada, yada, yada. He became the progenitor of the dark races. Not the Negroes, but the Egyptians. Okay? Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. Okay? My people, we are not Egyptians. Yes, we were captured. We, we and were in the land of Egypt for 430 years before Moses was brought forth to, to lead us out and all that, but we are not Egyptians. Yes, we're connected to, connected to Egypt. Yes, no doubt about that. But our DNA tells us who we are. The Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary threw us a caveat and said not the Negroes and I had to discover that the Negroes were the Bantus okay the Negroes were the E1B1A here's the hermetic data DNA data for the children of Ham Cush, Mitzrayim, Put and Canaan okay and uh, I don't know if you guys can see that let me come and make it a little bigger let's see here um, E1B1B all right, virtually no E1B1A for the uh, bloodline of Ham. Okay? The DNA does not lie. Men lie. But DNA cannot lie. Now, D DNA may, may, you know, give you a result that you don't want or want to accept. But your DNA is going to reveal the truth, whether you like it or not. And rather, whoever likes it or not, black people, we are not Egyptians. We are we are we are not from the bloodline of Ham. That is genetically false, and I've proven that time and time again. And I see that with the disinformation, they're hanging on to the you know that they're trying to change the narrative, say, oh, you guys are connected to Ramses, trying to throw it off like also oh, also oh, black people think oh so we must be Egyptians. No, we must not be. We're not Egyptians, okay? And if Ramses was E1B1A, he was he was a Hebrew Israelite um, fronting, or his or his mother had an affair. And his daddy didn't know. One of the two. <laughs> One of the two. All right. Because either he was a Hebrew Israelite and raised as an Egyptian, or his Egyptian mother was getting it in on the low with a Hebrew Israelite man, and his DNA outs him as a Hebrew Israelite. But I believe they have that uh, connected to that because they want black people to think that they're. Um, Egyptian and that, that 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 takes us away from being Hebrew Israelites man Egyptians uh, enslaved us okay the uh, Muslims enslaved us so-called white Christians enslaved us like I mean we can, we can go on and on through all the captivities of, uh, of the children of Israel right so you know it's, I, I think it's a ploy to throw us off we know we're haplogroup group E Right, you can see the the, the tree, haplogroup E. You know, there, there's there's several people that come up under the tense of Shem, 
you know, but we are of the chosen seed. Okay, E1B1A is God's chosen nation. You know, he said um, he was going to choose us above all nations, right? So, yes, there, there, there are uh, several dark people that fall under haplogroup E. However, there's only one people that, 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 that's the children of the promise or a children that has a covenant with the Most High God of Israel, right? And, of course, this is the classic um, Hebrew-Israelite DNA uh, meme I did uh, many years ago. Um, it's floating not all over the um, the internet, right? This is this haplogroup E1B1A. Because remember when I, I if you guys haven't seen the uh, the comprehensive video, I said that um, the uh, they were trying to say the E1B1A was in Israel, but it was small amounts. They were trying to downplay it when when you, when in actuality it was the other way around. E1B1A is actually the founding lineage for ancient Israelite nation. You know why they were trying to downplay and try to play us, right? I, I, I turned that around. So anyway, um, but that's what it is, people. I wanted to kind of share that. Like I said, I have several videos on this stuff, um, but I wanted to kind of address that with with um, with screenshots of what my DNA looked like before the format was changed. And clearly, um, my DNA points to it being the original, most part being uh, uh, Israel or quote unquote uh, Middle Eastern. All right, so until the next presentation, I hope you guys got something from it. Um, you know, this is Dr. Ephraim saying, Ahaya by Yeshim Yeshua, Hamashuk, Baruch Atah Adonai, Shalom, elect.